Recently, Google introduced the biggest redesign of the Android smartphone interface to date, Material U. Does that mean you're gonna have to learn new things? Are, are these redesigns really helpful or was someone in Mountain View just changing things to validate their parking space? Well, I've been playing with it for a bit in Google's latest public beta of Android 12 Beta 2, and I'm gonna show you what I think are some of the most important features and updates. Let's get into it. Hey, if anything you've seen here has helped, if any of the videos on the channel have helped you, please consider hitting us with that thumbs up, clicking on that subscribe button, and hitting that notification bell so you'll be notified when we upload the latest content. This is Android 12. Now, the first thing most people are gonna notice is the notification shade interface, since that's probably one of the areas of the user interface that we interface with most often. Older users and those with bad eyes will love this as Google has moved away from the more linear, boxed, segmented notification and status shade, which kind of floats on top of your home screen when you swipe down, as you see here in Android 11. What you get now is a full screen notification shade with bright colors and boxes, which fills the spaces and the screen. And I may have lied because the first thing you'll probably notice is the lock screen clock. Big and bold, Android 11. The other really cool thing you'll notice is when the phone locks, when you're actually on the lock screen, you have the smaller clock and when you get rid of all your notifications. So it goes from being in the top to dropping down and filling up more of the screen to let you know easily that you're, and let's do that again. So they let you know easily that you are done, you have finished checking notifications. There are no more notifications because you have a big old full screen clock. So full screen clock, no notifications. I already talked about the notification shade, but let's get into that a bit more in detail. When you pull down the notification shade, you'll notice that the quick settings menu up top is completely different. What they've done now is they have made the buttons much bigger. So as you see in Android 11, instead of this kind of tight spaces here with the small icons, they've given you large icons. They've also now added Google Pay and device controls or your home controls to the screen. So now when you type, type on that, you can actually right there, right from the notification shade, go to your home automation, go to any of uh, those device controls that are enabled there, uh, the different devices around your home. So you can access that now directly from that menu. Uh, you can still edit the menu as you saw before, but now you have these larger uh, buttons to be able to interact with and engage with. The other thing you'll notice is the sliders for the screen brightness. You have this massive screen brightness slider and it all is uniform. It all works together. As you see, even the volume slider, if we pull those up, the volume slider on Android 11 versus Android 12 is different as well. Uh, Android 12, you have the larger volume slider like you do uh, uh, in the brightness slider. And so that's where you'll continue to see the differences is in just how large everything is. And the next thing we're gonna do is, uh, as you can see here, I'm doing a screen recording and it's using the microphone. And on Android 11 side, there's no notification of that. Here on Android 12, if I tap on that, I can see who or what is using my microphone on the system level. I can see who or what is using the microphone on the app level, and then I can engage with that and decide what I want to do with that, if I wanna deny permission or keep permission. You also see that as a green dot up top here as well. So that's notification shade, that's app permissions kind of in the, the microphone. And, and seeing who's using your microphone, who's using your camera. Uh, the other thing you're going to notice with Android 12 that's different from Android 11 is widgets. So let's get into those widgets. I love the way they've done widgets now. The widgets, of course you have some of these system level widgets directly in Android, but 
now all your widgets are organized with a drop down. So as you can see here, you're actually going to get a drop down menu to check out your widgets and your widget organization. Um, the drop down menu then you know expands, and you can see what all widgets each. Uh, widget has so how many widgets each widget has and you can uh, decide which widgets you want to use there so it's a really fast way to get into and see what you have to work with in your widgets instead of scrolling forever and ever like you did in Android 11 to get through all the widgets the other huge change in Android as we get more privacy conscious hopefully is when you go into the privacy menu, you're now going to get something called uh, the privacy dashboard. The privacy dashboard, when you tap on that, that allows you to see in a timeline everything, every app uh, that has used your phone, or accessed your phone, accessed parts of your phone, and you're going to be able to see that uh, on a timeline. You're going to be able to see what they've done, who's used what, and then you'll be able to go in and, as it says there, manage permissions on all the different apps that have used, that have accessed your phone and uh, be able to take the appropriate action, the appropriate steps there. As you can see, it shows my location usage, uh, the app. You can click on show system and then you're going to literally see everything. Google Play services, settings services. Uh, adaptive connectivity. You get to see every single thing that has touched uh, any part of your phone here. We can see the microphones used by one app that's currently um, actually recording, screen recording, so that's that. Uh, you can expand it, see what other apps have used it. So that is really powerful. The privacy dashboard is, is a big deal and it really gives you a great overview of what has been using and accessing your phone and a very granular option and very granular views as well. The other item which is pretty interesting that I actually wouldn't come to rely on but it's actually a very cool feature in the phone is if you go into the digital settings, the privacy and well-being settings, what you'll get is an option to turn on and let's get to it. Uh, heads up. When you tap to set heads up, what heads up will do for you is if you're walking and looking down at your phone and not paying attention to what's going on around you, heads up will allow you to uh, uh, receive notifications that you need to look up. So, uh, as you see, when you set it up, heads up is ready to go. You'll get a reminder if you use your phone while you're walking. So heads up, as again, right here it says, get reminders to stop using your phone while you're walking. Use with caution. Heads up doesn't replace paying attention. And I think that's very important to note. Heads up does not replace paying attention. But if you have young children, you know, uh, uh, junior high, elementary age, junior high age, who are using their phones, that's definitely a feature I think you'll want to turn on. When my children were younger, I was constantly getting on their cases about paying attention to their surroundings and situational awareness and not having earphones in and headphones and things when you're crossing the street and just really paying attention to where you're going. The other thing that's different now in Android 12 Beta 2 is when you go into the menu, and let's get into both here. When you go into the menu now, you used to have to go into the display options in terms of looking at your wallpapers, your, uh, your icons and customizing everything. Now with Android 12, it breaks out and gets its own menu where you can go in and change things around, change the grid, uh, change the icon shapes change the icon colors. And speaking of colors, that is another area that is actually one of my favorite things to play with on Android 12. If you notice, I have these bluish colored icons, uh, sky blue, and that's based on your 
wallpapers. It takes kind of the, uh, the secondary colors in your wallpaper and changes uh, your colors based on that. So I'm going to go into some wallpapers here and show you kind of what that looks like. So I'm going to choose this wallpaper, which has a lot of red in it, but it also has some sky blue in the background. And we're gonna set that for the home screen. And once you pull down the icons, you'll see that they actually changed color. And now they have a kind of a puce, a pinkish hue to them. Uh, if I go into and change that wallpaper again, and I'm gonna change it to the other sign I have here, uh, and I'm gonna make it so that the sign focuses primarily on the yellow. And you'll see when I change that, there we go up, oh. you'll notice all the icons changed to yellow because the black is the main thing in the front here and it picks up on the yellow. So now I have these yellow colored icons uh, that are showing here. And so it really works well with some wallpapers and with others, not so much. So you're going to see, I think, different results with this feature, but I really like that the artificial intelligence changes the trim, changes the uh, complementary colors uh, on your system level so that it is reactive to whatever wallpapers you use. Now we have the sky blue or light blue since I changed it to an ocean uh, and sky background. So that actually, I like little touches like that. And so I really, really enjoy that. Other than that, the animations are different. They are really smooth um, compared to uh, Android 11. You really are going to see some interesting things. And overall, uh, with the privacy functionality, the AI changing the, the complementary colors at the system level, and that privacy dashboard, and again, the, the, the digital well-being, the heads up feature. There's some really, really cool features in Android 12 Beta 2. There's still some things that they're working out to bring to uh, uh, the beta versions, and I'll keep you updated with kind of what's going on with Android 12 as they do. Hey, I'm Tashaka Armstrong for Reviews.org. That's been Android 12 Beta 2. If you have any questions about anything I talked about in this review, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. I'll get to it. As always, we don't take it lightly that you spent your time watching here with us. I'll catch you on the next video.